Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 8, Lesson 11, Deviation from the Mean. The objective says, I know what the mean absolute deviation, or MAD, measures and what information it provides. So let's go ahead and talk about what the mean absolute deviation means. We're looking at how the data deviates to the left and to the right from the mean. In other words, how is it different or how far away from the, the mean or the average or that center is the data to the left and to the right. Where is most of the data? So that's what the MAD tells us. Where is most of the data? It's going to be right around the center in most data sets. Ten sixth grade students recorded the amounts of time each took to travel to school. The dot plot shows their travel times. The mean travel time for the, these students is approximately nine minutes. The MAD is approximately four and two tenths minutes. So we've already talked about what the MAD is. The MAD is where most of the data is. It's that uh, where the data is located around that center. And we know that the mean is the center or the typical value or balance point for the data. So we can use that to say in general or overall, most of the students, many of the students, uh, we can say those kinds of words w associated with the mean. Letter A says, which number of minutes is t a typical amount of time for the 10 sixth grade students to travel to school? The nine minutes or four and two tenths minutes? Well, we see that word typical, that keyword typical, and that tells us to look at the mean or the average or the balance point. And so that's already been identified for us as nine minutes. So the nine minutes is our mean or typical value. So that means in general, it takes the students nine minutes to get to school. Letter B says, based on the mean and MAD, Jada believes the travel times between five and 13 minutes are common for this group. Do you agree? Explain your reasoning. Well, we've already used the mean, so logic tells me I'm going to use the MAD, but the MAD does actually help us in the situation. The mean absolute deviation tells us where the data is, what is most typical for this data set, what is most common, excuse me, for this data set. So we're going to be looking at the MAD, and the MAD is 4 and 2 tenths minutes, which means that most of the data is going to be within 4 and 2 tenths minutes to the left and to the right of the center. So the math tells us on average that the travel time for the students is four and two tenths minutes less than and greater than the average of nine. So about four minutes less is five and about four minutes more is 13. So Jada is correct. Most of the data is within that range of being four minutes before or four minutes after that center or that typical value of the mean. Again, the objective says, I know what the mean absolute deviation measures and what information it provides. The mean absolute deviation or the MAD tells us where most of the data is. Thanks for watching.